Hello, and welcome to Octopath Traveler by Eight. I'm your host, Liam Gallagher. This is the thrilling conclusion of the saga of El Grosso, the gross guy I'm going to kill because I hate him. Uh, we're going to reset the timer here. I got a little distracted by my disgust for El Grosso. Helganesh or whatever his name is. Whatever, he's dead. He's a dead man. Let's find out what he's weak to first. Probably not dark. He seems like he's got dark coming up the wazoo. We'll try these dudes out though. Ah, oh, they're vulnerable to the dark. The Why battle not? is truly true. Sword? Yeah, most most people I know nice are vulnerable to swords. Uh, here I go. And let's see if we can win them all. The winds of are okay, vulnerable to wind. First time I've uh, dealt with a bad dude who uh, was not windproof. Okay. Let's do not this. dark, not wind. Let's bow this guy. Weak to bow. Good to know. Trembling with anger. Well, we're gonna have to try to get through his defenses then. We can take this guy out. Mm, not quite. I am ready. Yeah, I don't know. Knife? Is he weak to knife? I guess I should try, right? Yeah, vulnerable to knife. Looks like, unfortunately, he's gonna attack before his big purple cloud like is effective. Okay, that's bad. Firmrose is out. She's down for a bit. Mm-hmm. All of of life. Use this. There you go. A few hit points. I'm ready. I was wondering games like this where the uh, the scaling of some of the items <laughs> seems to be so far off. <laughs> well, why is it that the this. game opens up with the characters being able to use items that, uh, or items or skills that are so, that deal so much more than <laughs> Interesting. Damn! <laughs> Fart. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Seems like it worked. Victory shall be mine. What did we have again? All foes with the sword. That didn't seem like a bad idea right now. I will cut you down. We're really spreading the damage out here, but it's valuable to have them all days, so we don't deal with any of this nonsense. <laughs> I can Tempest wins them again. I would really like to take out one of these lackeys. Pelicanish is lackey. The winds of <laughs> I wonder if uh, Big Fatso is weak against um, I'm ready. spears as well. Yeah, Lion Dance. The Lion Dance. I wonder if it's there's like a maybe a play on words there with the phrase uh, line dance. I wonder if that's intentional. Yeah, Primrose does not have a lot of hit points. The percentage bars, right? Because the green bar that shows your hit points shows you like the range or the percentage, not like the absolute number. Sometimes it can be a little. Uh, I will cut you down. Right, when you, right, the level slash thing, when you boost them, you don't get extras, you just get more, Oof. that one time. No. Right, okay, okay. I am ready. I don't know if I've tried using the darkness on this dude. Okay, yeah. 
I mean, I'm trying to, I guess, understand the elemental types in this, like their Pokemon. But he's mean, so it means he's probably dark type. Okay, he doesn't like Pole. He doesn't like the Poke Poke. Trembling with Not anger. Much. Probably not gonna be able to take that guy out, but oh well, there he goes. That's such a good screen. The uh the performance of uh, Tress's screen. She really sells young sounds young, right? She sounds like a kid. I wonder how old the voice actor is. I am ready. No. Love slash abide insight. This is your regular attack. This guy's probably pretty far away from actually being pop. Let's go with pokey. I which does more damage. If I was good at this game, if I was really trying, I probably would keep track of this. The battle is truly joined. Oh well. Warrior skills. In sight. Stout wall, abide. Here I go! Yeah. Do that. I'm ready. What happens when you double the up? Lion Is that five turns or witchery? I'm ready. Gotta do something about that. The battle is truly joy. You can just do one poke. I think Tressa can get through the vulnerability with her. I am ready. Hmm. Hmm. Here I go. Give somebody a BP, right? No, apparently I don't. I didn't. Apparently I didn't pick that. That's fine. That's fine. Battle is truly. Alright, go get him, big boy. This guy's got a lot of defense. How about you? That sucks. Here I go. Yeah, I think he's just like a big bag of hit points, and I just have to flack at him for a while. I don't think we're doing anything wrong here. I'm surprised he hasn't like called in more goons or anything. What to do? It's the kind of thing I would expect from this type of boss, right? He's a ring. Oh. Anger. Damn. I wonder what kind of wine he's drinking. <laughs> it's interesting that this Damn. boss has um a vulnerability that everybody uh, in that party can target. I'm ready. In some ways, making this section of the fight kind of, kind of just a slog, right? But we can so easily bust through his defenses. I am ready. Hmm, what happens here? 93. Oh, well, there. Did it. Did it. The show is over. He's dead. The creepo is dead. It's a lesson to all creepos. If you're creepy for long enough, you'll eventually be killed by a magical darkness dance. It's a moral story. I think we got something like a coin poach. Don't know what that's doing for me. Springrose, you murdered everyone. You were always different from the rest. 
the fire in your eyes. It burned brighter than any others. I've seen many a girl in my years, but none quite like you. You fascinated me from the start. Come, Primrose. Uh, just kick him in the face and then have Won't him explode. You dance one last dance for me. I. She wants to dance with somebody who loves her. Not with you. Oh. <laughs> Primrose, how did you know? I am dead. Irk. <laughs> yeah, eat it. Eat it. <laughs> this is a great variety of death sounds. Quite the dancer yourself in the end. <laughs> Curtain. <laughs> I wonder, uh, I wonder what she took from him. Farewell. And with that, Master, I do believe my debt has been paid. Now that's a good line. I'm kind of surprised she didn't say eight more things. It's usually how JRPG would go. Yusufa, she reflected. She mourned, even. She's walked two paces. We are free to laugh, my friend. It's a metaphor, because her friend is free in body. Or no, in soul, but Primrose is only free in body, because she still has a debt to her father, to a vengeance, right? So Primrose set out from the shifting sands to a land of swirling snow in her quest vengeance against the three foul crows. Uh, where this dance will lead her, none can say, other than the snowy place. Because the snow is a desert of a different type, right? Tundra is also a desert. It's a metaphor about dualities. So, that seems to be the character theme of Primrose, I guess, is the division between what her body's doing and where her mind is. There you go. That's storytelling. Think about that. Well, I guess this ends this chapter of our playthrough of uh, Octopath Traveler together. I'm going to do a quick save here. And uh, I guess when we catch me next time, we're going to be heading up into the mountains and into the snow. We'll see if Primrose dresses the same <laughs> when she's up in the mountains. I guess it's probably, no, she's not going to get a parka. I've been your host, Liam Gallagher. Please do hit that like and subscribe button if you like and subscribed. Until next time.